have the Earth like so, with Australia on the top. Yes, it looks like a school classroom. Manuel Papalia was even a school teacher. But these days he gets a kick out of sharing his knowledge and showing why we should rewrite the textbooks. So the book textbooks are wrong in what they get, try and give, up, give out to us. Of course, it is a 23 and a half degree uh, angle, but it's not like so, it's actually like so. So this is how the Earth is now. We're at the Height School in Modbury Heights for a night of stargazing and moon watching. This brief helps you understand what you're looking at when you peer through the telescopes. This one, built over 30 years ago, is owned by the South Australian Astronomical Society. It was formerly housed at the Marrickville High School and moved to the Heights in 1989. This is a big telescope by amateur standards. For the record, it's a Cassegrain 32 centimetre reflecting telescope. The light from the star will come down to the big mirror, then, can't, then reflects back and narrows until it hits the small telescope, that small mirror at the top there, and once again travels down the telescope tube, through some tube work down the back, and into the eyepiece, and that's where your eye is and that's where you see the image. The students take photographs to record their spatial exploration. Star trails made using exposures lasting up to an hour are favourites. You'll also see single and binary stars, coloured nebulae, which are gas and dust clouds, and constellations. Here we can see the planet Jupiter. The small spots are three of the four moons Galileo discovered in 1610. They're still finding Jupiter's moons today. The last count was at least 16. You can view up to four of them depending upon the time of the year. So now what we have to do is just um, move the telescope around. We have the crosshairs here, so what we need to do... Most nights, these people of the dim red light can be found in search of strange new worlds. They work in this light so that their eyes remain sensitive to the faint starlight images in their telescopes. On public viewing nights, the students often take control. What we're looking at now is Amiga Centauri. It's a globular cluster with over a million stars. Um, basically, since we're in Modbury Heights, it's going to be almost directly over Tea Tree Gully. So, and since it's a very good night, we should be getting a very good view of it. So I'm sure you'll all be impressed. The new observatory was built last year. It houses the smaller telescope and the roof rolls open to give an unobstructed view of the heavens. Student groups use the telescope to supplement their regular schoolwork and it's an official site of the SA Astronomical Society. You can get involved too. The observatory opens to the public so you can experience the wonders of the cosmos.